We were on our last spiritual retreat cruise. We went somewhere in Canada, a, a beautiful place, and we walked along a beach. And my wife was looking for a particular type of shell. And even though there were 16 billion shells on this beach, she could spot the one that she wanted. And if we're looking for a particular kind of shell or whatever we're looking for, our eyes can be empowered by God to spot it with ease as our minds form an image of what we seek. Our eyes focus on that image as they scan what lies before us. The mental pictures that we form determine how we view situations and persons. Do we expect a right outworking in every event? Or are we expecting the worst? Are we seeing the child of God in each person? Or are we seeing the worst? As we perceive the harmony of God in all people, all events, our lives become lives of harmony. We see the Christ in others and our relationships improve. As we hold images in mind, uh, that we want to manifest in our lives as we think of peace and health and abundance and wholeness. Well, we find it. We invite these experiences into our life. When we have an expectancy of good, it opens the way for that good to flow to us and our lives unfold in divine order. So when you're looking for something, whether it is a certain shell on a beach or some other good in your life, ask God for help. And then as your eyes scan, have an expectant attitude inside of you that you're going to find it with God's help. And you'll find that you do. In John 11, verse 40, it said, Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Well, there's a lot more to this and more levels than what appears. Seeing the glory of God can be finding that very unique, rare shell amid 15 billion other shells or that rare job. Or that rare person that you want as a soulmate. I tell you, with the right perception that God gives you, you'll see it, you'll find it, you'll have it.